Okay, so this is kind of my short-term review of the R2 Tech Face. In a previous video, I gave you just kind of the specs of the R2 Tech Face, but I didn't really give you the experiences with it. That's because I didn't have them yet. So for the past couple months, I've been ice climbing in this jacket, I've been dry tooling in this jacket, I've been doing some mix climbing in this jacket, and overall, I've just been spending a lot of time in this jacket. And really one of the big takeaways I've gathered from this jacket is it really hasn't changed much to, from the old one. And that's great because the old R2 Tech Face was an amazing jacket. And really this just kind of, I don't, I wouldn't say fixes problems, but it just adds to it. You know, everything that's added with this jacket is for the better. And what was really added was, you know, you got a second chest pocket now. The cuffs are slightly different. There are drop-in pockets still, but the interior uh, fabric is different. It's not a stretch material. It's just a, uh, well, I can show you. It's just kind of this mesh. Um, so that's a little bit different. And everything else has kind of stayed the same with it, except for the big one is that it uses a PFC-free DWR now. And what I can say from using this jacket is that there really isn't a beat miss between the performance for waterproofing between this one and the old version. You know, this one's performing at the same level, if not a little bit higher. Realistically, you don't have to be worried about PFC-free DWR as there's a lot of technology and a lot of science going into it to make sure it's not just like a compromise, it's just what should be there in general. So this thing performs at a really high level. And if you're wondering for fit, you know, it fits pretty much the same as the, R as the previous version of the R2 Tech Face. As for reference, I'm six foot and not like on a good day, like 170 pounds in that area. But yeah, this is how it fits. It fits me just fine. Um, it's a great overall fit in general. I think this jacket is a slim fit, but it doesn't really feel like a slim fit. But that's kind of how the other one was too. So just take that with a grain of salt. The R2 Tech Face is great because it's right around like a 60 gram insulation jacket. Like on a day like today, where it's like 30 degrees out, it's perfect because I've just got a t-shirt underneath and I'm completely warm. So that's what I kind of like the R2 Tech Face for. And for ice climbing and dry tooling, it's been really great, especially when it's cold. Because when I know when it's cold out, I just kind of do that same thing of where, oh, I'll just wear like a, just a simple base la layer underneath and I'll just climb with this on. Because again, it is like a 60 gram insulation jacket. So with that being in mind, you do a little conversion in your head and you're like, okay, if I wear too many layers underneath, I'm just gonna get really warm. So this jacket works really well in that aspect and you have the added benefit because it's a tech face jacket, you know, you get a little bit of breathability while also still getting really good abrasion resistance and weather resistance because it is like a soft shell. And that's actually a really cool thing of the tech face. I'm, I'm really liking the tech face series for climbing because it's like a great jacket that you can just kind of use at any time. Like you don't have to worry about scuffing up against a rock. Like if I have an option between wearing this and the Nano Air, I might go for this more often because this is just way more burly than the Nano Air. Like I don't have to worry about throwing my tools over my shoulder and getting like a puncture in it. Like there's just a little bit more just beefiness to this jacket that I prefer. And it's really mobile too. It, it's super stretchy fabric as you can kind of see right here. Everything is stitched really well. You know, there's no really restrictions and yeah, like overall climbing in this jacket has been really good. The only thing I've really noticed with climbing in it is that sometimes the arms are a little bit short, but that's just like a little thing. That's a me problem. I've got a stupid ape index, it's like plus four. So, and yeah, you know, this update to the R2 tech phase has been great. And I'll definitely be continuing to use this because it's a bomber jacket.